what up boys and welcome back to yet another video so in these videos i clear out my mailboxes on my transmog tunes to see how much gold i've made and it's usually something that i do weekly but last week we had the patch coming out had a lot of work to do so i didn't get to record a video last week so in today's video we have the clean out from two weeks and we're doing this on two characters so i have one bank tune where I'm only selling gray and white items, and then I have a transmog tune where I'm selling, well, everything else, right? So this week on gray and white items, I sold 438 items. That's in two weeks. It's the lowest amount of items considering that it's in two weeks. But then again, I've done like pretty much nothing uh, on this bank tune. I've recrafted some uh, Shadowlands legendary base items. And I've bought some items from the vendor, as you can see. I have a lot of these vendor bought the white items selling for a decent amount of gold. Uh, but most of these like sales up in the thousands are going to be crafted uh, Shadowlands base items, which are really easy to get into. So if you guys are not crafting the base uh, Shadowlands uh, legendary items, make sure you do so. It's, uh, it's pretty easy gold on every single realm that I do it on. And this is my main realm, though, where we're going to do the uh, the clean out. So we're going to take a look quickly through this one, because this tune is not that interesting, uh, because there's no, like, really big sales. Uh, but it is interesting to see selling recruits, boots, vests, and pads for, like, 10,000 gold, 11,000 gold. Then it's bought from the vendor for less than 50 silver. Like, it is <laughs> extremely easy gold. The same here with the recruit and the squire items. And a lot of people sleep on this, because... When the patch 10 of 5 came out and we could transmog white and gray items, there was a lot of people getting into it and the prices completely plummeted. But what what happened is, what always happens is people just, they, they disregard it. They're like, okay, this doesn't work. And then they move on. They don't look back to see if items go up in value. So whenever the supply goes down because everyone just gave up on it, the demand is still around. So you can still make a lot of gold on it. So... Uh, I've started to buy a lot of vendor uh, white transport items again. Getting a good chunk of some uh, Shadowlands legendary uh, sales right here. 78,000 gold in that clean out. And we're going to we're gonna add this um, the amount of gold that I get from this clean out to my, my proper transmog tune. I say proper because I expect to make way more gold on my other tune. Uh, and I know that I have some really, uh, really big sales in that one. So the item that I've made the most amount of gold with besides from Shadowlands Legendaries is this one, the Soggy Moarig Eye Patch. I've sold this one, like a lot of these, and they always do really well. They sell for really high amounts. Um, uh, I made like half a million gold probably in just the uh, the eye patch, which is farmed in the, in Legion and Crocoon. And it's the only male headpiece that looks like a black eye patch. So uh, it does pretty well. Now, we only have 38 auctions left. Is there anything worth mentioning? Not really. Just uh, Shadowlands uh, crafts again. And now we're going to take a look at the uh, total amount of gold. But remember, this is over two weeks. But yes, done close to nothing, though, on this tune. So as you guys can see, it's a total of 451,000 gold on, um, on the white and gray mogs. So now we're going to log on to uh, the proper bank tune. Got to type down now. 451,000 gold on that one. And uh, now let's see how many uh, transmog items I've sold and how much gold it's going to be on my main tune. And this is, by the way, if you guys want to start doing this as well, this is by far the easiest way that I know uh, on how to make gold. Because once you have your crafted team set up, it's just maintenance. You just got to, whenever you sell something, you got to recraft it and throw it up in the auction house. But all of the details and all of the steps in order to do this is featured in the zero to 10 million gold guide. So if you guys already have the book, just make sure to go to the page where it says craft the transmog and start working on that. And to all of you guys that enjoyed the book, if you already have it, you're definitely also going to enjoy the VIP Discord. The VIP Discord is pretty much like a Patreon, where not only do you get to see all my YouTube videos before they go live on YouTube, but you also get a bunch of exclusive content. There's like investment tips and shuffles and uh, like rare mobs that I camp myself. And then we also have like a quick guide into transmog crafting. Like if you're if you have no clue. You don't even know how to begin. I made a step-by-step -step what you should do to 
before uh, you even dive into the uh, the crafted sheets in the book. So make sure to check those out. Link down below in the description. But this week on my proper transmog tune, I've sold 521 auctions, which is okay. But I was slacking last week because I was so busy farming for the patterns and the plants in Solgura. Uh, and as you can see, the Gurubashi Crusher, 4.2k. There's going to be a couple of these sales where they sell for absolutely jack shit, right? Because I play in a horrible realm. On a positive note, though, I finally stopped being lazy. And I also dived a bit more into engineering crafting on my tomb. Because now, I think that was in patch 1005, you no longer need engineering to uh, equip and get the appearance of, like, engineering goggles, right? Or profession items in general. So they do way better. And I sold the Furious Gizmatic goggles for 30,000 gold. I sold the Goblin Rocket Helmet and a Power Heal Lens right here. So uh, I would definitely advise you guys to also look into uh, into engineering. It's really, really uh, underrated. Not a lot of people do it. I uh, sold so Craft the Titan uh, Steel Shield Wall, 9.2k. Not exactly the best. Did sell a World Drop Epic, though, the Nightblade for 44k. So that's pretty decent. And uh, that was 154,000 gold in the first 100 auctions. Now, I know I got some big sales. It's kind of hard to miss because whenever I log on to restock, right, and I've posted all my items, there's going to be at least 100 items sales that I can uh, see. So it was hard to miss this one. There you go. Next 100 auctions is almost 1.4 million gold. Now, I did sell the Varad's guillotine right here for 729,000 gold. Like 693 after auction I was cut. Now, I sold the last one for like 1.3 million gold. Uh, the good thing is I already have another one on the auction house. And this is farmed in Seraph Mort, this killing the, sh killing the uh, Shadow Swarm mobs. Uh, it, it is very hard to get, though. Like, very hard. There's a reason why it's so valuable. Now, besides from that, selling a bunch of the Seraph Mortis green items as well. And I've also sold a lot of Isle of Thunder. The majority of my gold this week, besides from Crafted, comes from Seraph Mortis, Epics and Greens, and Isle of Thunder transmog, which uh, have finally gone up. A tiny bit in price. You can see I sold uh, some Tyne Worm items right here, but not really for that much gold. Harmonium is Seraph Mortis. And here is uh, a craft from uh, Sulgurub. So I sold the Blood Herald for 142k, 150k before uh, Auction House cut. So that's pretty sweet. But I have some absolutely horrible sales from, uh, from Sulgurub that we will see soon, I believe. I sold the Truth Seeker Staff and the Spire. Both these items are from Seraph Mortis, just basic green items. Blood Tusk again from Isle of Thunder. All of these items right here, the Primordial and the Forgotten is also Isle of Thunder. Uh, there you go. Venom Fang. This is one of the epic weapons, the dagger that you can uh, craft now with Sulgurub. So one for 2k, one for 4.7k. These sales are good. Pitchfork of Mojo Madness for 332k and the Bloodlord's Embrace for 71k. Now those are really good. Uh, but it stopped. It was those two and the Blood Herald for 150k. Besides from that, I haven't really had any good sales from Sulgurub. I did, however, make multiple millions investing into Sulgurub materials. So that was like the the tactic or the method that I made the most gold with uh, the Sulgurub changes was actually investing in the materials. I did sell some patterns and plants as well that I already had learned, but uh, it wasn't big gold. Sulgurub, Ashi Crusher and a Venom Fang as well. It's profit, but it's very small profit. Should have sold for way more, but people are clowns on undercutting. Uh, this is also uh, Time Worn Shoulders, really good sale. This is also Isle of Thunder. These are all Isle of Thunder. Uh, Heaven's Guard Mace, a Seraph of Mortis. These are both crafted items, the Hammer of Righteous Mind and the Hand of Eternity. Not too bad. Black Fury, also crafted item, 7k. Um, is there anything else? Oh, 200,000 gold in those 100 auctions. We uh, this is a good clean out. This is a really good clean out. But like, you know, like some weeks you're gonna have a very mediocre week. Some weeks you're gonna have a really bad week. 
Uh, and then some weeks are going to be like this where you do really well. And the average clean out for me is usually like half a million to 750k. Uh, let's see if there's anything cool worth mentioning. More Seraph Mortis items. Staccato boots are also from Seraph Mortis. Flurry Axe is a world drop epic from Classic. And uh, nah, that was only 100k on those 100 auctions. Still have more auctions left though. So this is the, uh, the almost the best clean out considering this is over two weeks. I did have that one week where I sold uh, Devarit for 1.3 million amongst other items. That was really good. The Dark Moon Hammers. Like this is me messing up. Uh, I shouldn't have sold the Dark... Like I, I bought these Dark Moon Hammers so I could resell them for a higher price because I made a video on how they were good with the Jester set from the trading post. So I bought a bunch bunch of these really cheap because people, once again, they're clowns in the undercut. Uh, but I kind of forgot about them. Well, I didn't forget about them, but I, I bought them all out and I reset the price of them. And then the clowns must have undercutted them again, right? And my TSM settings is just set to undercut regardless because I don't really I don't really care, right? I think it's fun to farm. If it sells for 100,000 gold or 10,000 gold, I had fun farming it, right? Uh, but yeah, that definitely backfired. Uh, sold the more Seraph Mortis mogs right here. Even more Seraph Mortis. Like, it's actually insane how good it is. Deadmines Cleaver. Haven't sold this one in a while. It's uh, an item that you can farm when you're on a specific... Where you need to complete the, the Deadmines uh, quest. Like, the main storyline in uh, Westfall. And only then will you be able to kill these mobs that can drop some specific items from them. So, um... That was cool. That's my first one in months, many months. Probably I, it was before Dragonflight when I sold one last time. And let's see if there's anything else worth mentioning. Uh, it doesn't look like it. There's not that many auctions left. And uh, yeah, nothing really cool. Orb of Deception, a toy from Classic. That's not a good price, though. And now we can take a look at the total amount of gold, which uh, is, let's see... 1,955,000 gold plus the 451,000 gold from the white and gray items, which means that I made like 2.4 million golds, 2,406,000 gold. So 2.4 million, even if it's in two weeks, that's still 1.2 million gold a week. And this is only transmog. Like I obviously I make a lot of gold on uh, selling uh, battle pets and patterns and plants and materials and all of that. But in transmog, 2.4 million gold. So super happy with that. And as I said in the video, if you guys want to start doing the same, I highly recommend you to check out both the uh, zero to 10 million gold guide, which is by the way constantly updated. So you only got to get it once. And whenever there's a new patch or a new expansion, I update the book and send that version to you for free on your email. So that together with the VIP Discord, and you guys are going to be golden. With that being said, though, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all back in at the next video. But until then, bye-bye.